it's all action for the last of the five compulsory dances, the jive. And for six of these couples, this will be the last dance of what's been an extremely long day. creeping in at this stage when you get tired it's not the energy that goes it's the control of the energy that goes yes you start heading towards hysteria pitch don't yeah, you? right Kenny's from Scotland, Beverly is a London girl. They could and should be the favourites for tonight's trophy. And they have the composure of people who look like the champions over the last six... Now, what about the history of Paul Killick and Dinger House? Well, there's some... Fabulous talent for the future here. This boy doesn't fear being outrageous. They've only been together for about two or three months, and they're already starting to make heads roll from the finalist. Inga made the final last year after only two months with her previous partner, Paul Dawson. She's from Germany. They're also the surprise arrivals in this final, Donnie, aren't they? Yes, they are, Charles, very much. Now, it has to be said that if you think Jason Donovan is popular with the girls, he's got nothing on this guy. I'm telling you, at the practice nights, there's, a, by pure coincidence, a procession of young ladies just in his direction. Very talented. Two or three times in the past, when they were not fancied runners at all, they've ended up in the final and had a terrific result. So, although it's a turn up for the books, it's really well deserved. I think they're terrific, these two. absolutely fabulous he's got a very natural body tick I mean he's naturally rhythmic he's got an instinct for dance uh, Claudia has lost a lot of weight a lot of weight she's slimmed down she's got a lot fitter that makes her dance more confidently to judge from the reception here in the hall uh, a very popular choice for the final you can't blame people for going mad for them because they're so charismatic and they've got great uh, what i really find good about the choreography is the energy will be very very fast and very scintillating and then suddenly they just slow it down and become very intense I think a little bit more sensitivity as the mature 
will make them into a real force to be reckoned with. But I must say that they really appeal to me. When Ken and I first started out, we got the breaks because of charisma, and we didn't really have the quality. And I think that's the case with these two as well. I'm happy to see them get... Number 138 from Denmark, Alan Tornsberg and Vickerby Toft. <laughs> popular decision. These two are incredible. And I think you can see that although they may not be as dynamically scintillating as the last couple, what I keep talking about is the maturity of a man and woman here and the class which they portray, Charles, which puts them in a different league. Very glamorous couple. And Vivek has worked very, very hard in the last year or so to improve her leg action and the beauty of her feet and ankles. The practice nights, these two look as if they could beat the world in any competition. And the problem has been struggling to produce that in a competition under stress and adrenaline conditions. That's all. There's couple number eight, Kenny McHechney and Beverly Reese, dancing for Scotland. Yes. They'll be hoping that they'll be the world champions this coming year because the couple who hold the current world championship title are rumoured to be turning professional at the end of January of this year and therefore Kenny and Beverly will be hoping to be the new contenders for that title. Cha-Cha is one of the dances which has had its tempo for international competitions slowed down this year. Absolutely correct, because if you notice, some of the couples here are using a lot of the middle of the bodies um, rather than just the feet, which is the way it should be danced. It used to be called triple mambo. It came from mambo initially. And there's couple number 25, Paul Killick and Inga Haas for Germany. Yeah, now that they've made the final, they're dancing even better than they did in the previous rounds. Karen Rufus from Australia. Yes, a good tick in the middle of the bodies. This is a, a happy carnival dance from Brazil, and they've got the right atmosphere for it. And um, very popular with the crowd, as you can hear. I think with the face and those gnashers, if Stockgate, Aiken and Waterman don't have a... been making a hit single soon, then I'll lose some money. Brian Watson and Claudia Leone from Italy. This is a dance which has been slowed down, Charles. If you look, for example, at Brian and the way he uses his hips and the way he uses his body language in this dance, which is the way it should be, you'll see that he is, although the tempo's slower, he's filling it out and he doesn't look slow. He still looks as if he's fast because he's getting a lot of body action within each bar. Ball ring, the Paso Doble. This is a very good dance, as I said before, for Kenny McKechnie and Beverly Reese because he has a good demeanor of a matador. The way he walks from foot to foot, the way he controls the energy, the way the rib cage is held. It is essentially the man's dance. And I must say, absolutely, this dance has to be between McKechnie Reese and Tonsberg Toft. Drive the last 
of the compulsory dances. I always have a mental image of uh, a great sort of final stoking of steam pressure for the last dance of this long <laughs> sequence. <laughs> You're not wrong, I'm telling you. Claudia, he has very, very 